my fourth grade classroom. Welcome if you're new to my channel. My name is Marily Sanchez and I'm a fourth grade teacher in South Florida. And today is Monday, August 29th, 2022. I'm here bright and early in the morning. I actually got here at seven, but the gate didn't open until 7.30. So what did I do with those 30 minutes? I just opened up my iPad and I opened up my GoodNotes app and I started planning, planning, planning. So I didn't really waste my time. I used it effectively since it would have been my planning time anyway. So just planned on my iPad in the car while listening to a podcast. So it wasn't so bad. This morning as I came in, I got my delivery of brand new speakers because I have a little story. So back in 2020, when the whole school shutdown happened, I left a lot of things in my classroom and I wasn't able to come back into my classroom till I think it was June when they allowed us to come in to kind of pack up for the summer. And I grabbed a lot of my things and I took it home. One of those things were my Logitech speakers that I had connected to my cue ball which is a microphone ball that you toss. So I have my cue ball, but I lost, and I don't know where they are because I looked in different places in my house, unless they're shoved in the storage shed somewhere in a corner, I don't know. Um, my connector box for the cue ball and my Logitech speakers, <laughs> along with like my pencil lamp from Ikea. I haven't found those things out of all the things that I've looked through. So. At least I was able to contact Q-Ball, which is Peak, P-E-E-Q. I'll link them down below. And they were so kind to order me the part that I needed, just charge me for that part. And I just received it this weekend, along with my speakers today. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the microphone box from inside the ball, charge it and see if my cue ball works it'll be a good way to engage students so let me go ahead and work on that let me show you really quickly so this is my cue ball it is right in here underneath my instructions and the foam and all of this so if i open it up there it is and this is the part that i was missing so this is the little box that you connect it to and it sends the signal out and you connect it using this to your speakers so it does have a connector for speakers and this is the power cable and this is also how you charge the inside microphone part so anyway here are the speakers that i got they were sixty dollars 59.99 but i noticed that they're also bluetooth so that's really cool can connect it to my phone and play things from my phone so i'm gonna try and see if this works let me start by charging that little box inside of the ball itself because this comes out and this box right here is the one that i have to pull out and charge it so this is a microphone so it is off right now obviously i haven't used it so it needs to fully charge but here it is it's the end of the day and i'm a very exhausted teacher oh my goodness but I did get through most of the things that I wanted to do on my list, but there was one thing I didn't get to with my afternoon class, which was the love story that I read to my morning group and the heart map. So my morning class did get started on those. I did read the story to them. I got through pretty much everything that I wanted to do with the morning class and the afternoon, I not so much, mostly because I was giving them more time to finish their letters because they hadn't started and my morning class only needed my, like maybe five or 10 minutes to finish their letter. So that's why we ran out of time. But tomorrow I have my afternoon class. So I'll make sure that we have some ketchup and pickles time in the morning so they can catch up on whatever they need to finish. And I will hopefully get started with doing the love story and having them do their heart maps and making sure that they start on the earthquake story, just like the other class. So, let me show you what we were able to accomplish. So with my morning class, this was our agenda and we pretty much, yeah, we actually got through all of this and they made sure that they finished their letter to me and we went ahead and reviewed the vocabulary words, which I have shown you in the past. I'm just gonna scroll through them really quickly. And we went into our earthquakes, which is the anchor text. And we started by working on this annotated reading handout, similar to the one that we did with A World of Change. And then I read to them the story love, and they started their heart maps. 
So then in my afternoon group, this was our agenda. So we got through here. So we didn't do the invitation to celebrate love or the heart map, but we got through everything else. So they were writing their letter and we were still finishing up a world of change. We finished our annotated handout for that. We finished our main idea. We did our double bubble, which I'll show you in a moment. And we didn't get to our Patterns of Power invitation to celebrate or our love story. And I did give both classes their homework for this week. So here is that annotated handout for earthquakes. So with my morning class, we answered this question and this question. They also had done their prediction before we started reading. And we were about to start answering this question because we left off at the first an account for Dr. C. Fuentes take on the strongest earthquake recorded on earth. And this is the heart map template that I gave to them and I did it in a half sheet so that once they're done, we can just tape it inside of their writing notebook and they can refer to it whenever they're looking for ideas to write about. They can just write about things that they love. Here is the book Love and it was amazing. I did it with novel effect. So we had the soundscape while we were reading the story. It's just such a beautiful story. I highly recommend it. Then with my afternoon group, we pretty much finished all of this. We just have this part to finish. We'll finish tomorrow because we were working on the main idea sheet that goes with it. And then on the back, we did our double bubble comparing slow changes versus fast changes. So here's the digital version of that sheet right now. And this is the digital version of the main idea one that we did for that particular passage. And I also have the digital one for the other class. I did it in a digital format here, and this is theirs for my morning class, and this is their completed annotated handout for this particular passage. And we're currently working on earthquakes like you saw. So that's pretty much the rundown for today. And I did fully charge my microphone receiver for my cue ball. At the beginning of the day, I tried to use it, but it was giving me some like popcorn back feed kind of noise. And I figured that it was because I needed to fully charge it. So I did. I noticed that the light was green. That means fully charged. I tried it and the sound sounds really crisp on our new speakers. So I went ahead and I put the speakers here. I love these because I can also connect my phone to them. So it plays whatever's on my phone and whatever we use the cue ball for. So I have all my technology here and I try to use my microphone at the same time that this was going and there was no feedback, so it works just fine. I'm really happy about that. And that's all I wanted to share with you for today, so I'll see you tomorrow. It's now Tuesday, the end of the day, just finished my bus duty, but I'm about to grab all my things because I have a faculty meeting right now at 3.30 in the cafeteria and right now is 325 so I got to make this quick. Just wanted to give you a glimpse of how our day went and what I got to do and what I didn't get to. But I want to show you my slides so I can tell you more about the instruction that happened today. And here is the Tuesday slides, the date. This is my agenda for my morning group. I actually decided not to label it block one, block two right now. I just did it like that. Uh, so this morning, my block two started the day with me. So they did catch up on pickles. I'll show you that slide. And they completed the annotated reading handout for a world of change. And we started reading earthquakes just like the other class. And we started our annotated reading handout for that particular passage. We didn't get to compare and contrast tsunamis and earthquakes or earthquakes and tsunamis. We didn't get to patterns of power, but I did read love, but we didn't get to the heart map. We're making a little progress though. So here is my ketchup and pickle slide. This is my new slide for this school year. So ketchup is work that they need to catch up on. So that's that little play with the word. Pickles is an activity that they can pick once they are done with their ketchup work. So I went over that and they did a pretty good job for the most part. Then we went into our reading. They completed the annotated reading handout for a world of change. And then we started earthquakes and started with this. We didn't get to the compare and contrast and we didn't get to patterns of power. But we did the this and didn't get to heart map for my afternoon class this is our agenda so they also started with ketchup and pickles but we were still continuing with earthquakes we actually finished reading the anchor text earthquakes with my afternoon class today that was my block one which is my homeroom so on tuesdays i have them in the afternoon and then we continued working on our annotated reading handout but we didn't get to the rest of that agenda so that is the same ketchup and pickle slide and pretty much the same slides here. 
except that they were going to do invitation to apply using this particular photo as a jumpstart to that invitation to apply. And I was going to read them that story. I do have it out in the front of the board, but that's pretty much our Tuesday. So here is so far what we have done. We were about to start answering this question on the first hand account for Dr. C. Fuentes how that's different from the rest of the text, so making sure they understand the difference between first-hand and second-hand account. And here's the book, I had it right by the board. Another thing, we were going over multiple meaning words, so there's a section called whose fault is it, so we were looking at the two meanings of fault and which one was being referred to in that section, and the word whopper, because they described that Earth sometimes releases a whopper of an earthquake. So of course, kids think about Burger King. So we also talked about multiple meaning words and also why Burger King would have named their whopper this name, which is their biggest burger. So whopper means big. And that pretty much is a rundown of our day. So now I'm gonna grab my things and I'll see you tomorrow. It's Wednesday and I wanted to give you an update of how the day went. I'm a very exhausted teacher today. It's been a day, <laughs> but I did get through what I wanted to get through on the most part. Although this morning, my homeroom, we mostly tried to finish our heart maps and I did read to them, We Are All Wonders. I also introduced them to a kindness challenge that I'm a part of, our classroom is a part of with other classrooms around the country. So that's really great. So we did that. And then in my afternoon group, I got them caught up with my morning group. So that's perfect. And we actually ended up going over some comparisons that the passage made so that they can pay attention to how the author is comparing one thing to another to help us better understand. So here are some examples. We looked at how the earth is like a puzzle when they were talking about the tectonic plates moving together and that the movement of the plates is like boiling milk because when you boil milk, it creates like a little cream in the top and the movement of that cream is similar to how the plates move on top of the mantle and the tsunami is like a monster so that was awesome and i also went over point of view with the afternoon group just like i had done previously with my block one i did also read we are all wonders to my afternoon group and we got through the entire passage of earthquakes and started trying to gather some answers for the questions but we're going to finish that organizer or that annotated reading handout tomorrow. So here is a glimpse of today's slides. So welcome to Wednesday. Here are our slides for today. So this was our agenda for my block one this morning. We got through pretty much everything except invitation to apply, reading weathering the storm and comparing earthquakes and tsunamis, but we're gonna get there. And they finished their heart maps, like I said, and we talked a little bit about the passage but again, we need to finish this, but now both classes are pretty much in the same place. So we're gonna work on that tomorrow. This was the picture that I showed you before for invitation to apply, which hopefully we can get to it soon. So for my afternoon group, my block two, this is what we were working on. So we pretty much did most of this, except the invitation to celebrate and the compare and contrast. So we're slowly getting there and hopefully by tomorrow we can go ahead and celebrate that patterns of power. I wanted to also sh quickly show you something else that I have been working on. So we are not using Class Dojo this year. That is a district mandate. It comes from a new state legislation in Florida. So basically I created something similar to Class Dojo so that I can try to keep up with the points. These are not the actual points that students have. So like the student has five points, but it's not really five points. I am going to collect their punch cards. I am giving up on punch cards. I'm just gonna do it digitally. This is on a PowerPoint. So I have a slide for my block one and for my block two. So yeah, I've been working on this, I think for the past hour or so, and I was just cutting and pasting, which is why the numbers look different, but I'm going to make sure that the numbers are updated tomorrow. I'm going to introduce the students to the slides and our new way of tracking points. So punch cards, the students are losing their punch cards. And then as I'm trying to punch them, my punchers are getting stuck. So it's kind of hard to punch 40 something punch cards when I need to punch them. So I think this is a much better way. I can project it, they can see their points, and as they reach the milestones for the points, they can get their 
rewards. So starting with 10 points is a reward sticker, 20 points they spin the wheel, and we keep going from there. So anyway, I'm a very tired teacher. It's been a long day, so I will see you tomorrow. It's the end of the day on Thursday. It was a rough day for me today. Just been feeling so emotional and yeah, trying to deal with a whole bunch of different things that are happening around me. But I do want to report that both classes were working on finishing their annotated reading handout for earthquakes. I did read the paired selection with my afternoon group, my block two, which I had them in the morning. So they're now a little bit ahead of the other class. And both classes also worked on their compare and contrast Venn diagram, comparing earthquakes to tsunamis. So good to go there. We also got our laptop cards today because we start testing, state testing next week. Florida has a new state test that has three progress monitoring tests. And the first progress monitoring has to happen within the first 30 days of school. So our testing day is next week, Thursday, Friday. And our students take one day for ELA and one day for math. Roughly the test is about an hour to an hour and a half, depending. So we'll see how the students do with that. It just gives us information on how we can address instruction and help them meet their needs and goals. So yeah, so now we have that. So tomorrow morning, the students will have ketchup and pickles, my block one, so that they have time to finish those two assignments. And after that, everyone will take their reading test on our online testing platform. And then we're gonna work on our summer short story. So really looking forward to that. My summer short story is a resource that I do sell on TPT. I'll link it down below. I also have an autumn short story and a winter short story. And no, I have not created one for spring yet but it's on my things to create list. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and dash out because I need a break to relax. I also am hungry, so I'm gonna get something to eat on the way home, but I'll see you tomorrow for Friday. It's the end of the day on Friday and it's time for me to get my things and go home because we get to leave the day before holiday since Monday is Labor Day. But today was a much better day. The students actually took the entire block doing their reading test. My group with my ELL learners obviously needed more support. So I make sure that I was giving them the support throughout the entire block. And of course they had art in the afternoon, but we got back and now I have, I believe one more student that needs to finish from that group. They'll finish on Tuesday. And I think I have a little bit more from my block one that needs to finish that test on Tuesday. But that's it. That's the end of week three. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day and don't forget to smile. Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.